Adventurous Carrie here. I'm at a really cool spot, but I'm not gonna tell you about it until I get on our day 19 of our vlog and our seven week adventure around the United States in our 2020 Dodge ProMaster conversion van. But right now I wanna give you a recap of what we did while we were in Pensacola and beyond before we got to where we are right now. We're about two hours from our destination in Pensacola, Florida. Stopped to get gas and we had to feed the little man. We're almost headed to our destination in Pensacola. We're going to be staying at a brewery for a harvest host. We've got this beautiful sky with a dirty windshield welcoming us to this part of Florida. It almost looks like it's on fire. Well, this makes up for the missed sunset from last night when uh, it was a beautiful sky, but then a big cloud came in and the views tonight are just spectacular. So bright orange. We pulled into Doc's Hop Shop where we're going to be staying the night. They are part of the Harvest Toast, and we really appreciate their hospitality. Knew we were going to like this place. They're into Jimmy Buffett. The food from uh, the Public Affairs Gastro Pub was just amazing. This is a little food truck right outside a Doc's Hop Shop. George got a smash burger. And I got the Alabama chicken sandwich. After practicing medicine for 30 years, Dr. Steve Moley wanted to make great beer with his son. According to their website, they believe in making true to style beers that appeal to both the beer snobs and the regular Joes. We love their beer. George had their German dark lager, and I had their German blonde ale. In a can, it's called the Gulf, Gulf Coast Blonde. Thank you, Doc's Hop Shop, for hosting us through Harvest Host. Good morning, Henry. Do you like our little place here? We are staying at a brewery and they let us stay in their parking lot it's part of a harvest toast and George just took our coffee pot over to plug it in and we're gonna have coffee well we forgot today is Sunday and the brewery doesn't open until noon today and we don't see any outside plugs right here on their patio so we are brewing the coffee in the van Coffee is a brewing. Best way to start your day. We were going to go cross the street and get some breakfast, but the, there's so much traffic. And there they are. Checking this out. So we decided to go back and load up the van and drive across the street. We were more worried about Henry stopping in the middle of the road. We're getting ready to go over the Pensacola Bay Bridge and we are for the next couple of days just going to skirt along the Gulf Coast, parts of the Gulf Coast that we haven't seen yet. Um, we've actually seen this part but once we get up to Florabama it will all be new to us.
through the Gulf Island National Seashore and we just renewed our annual pass to the national parks. So we are good to go until next year and we can visit any national park in the United States. That almost, the sand is so white, it almost looks like snow on the side of the road. So when we were here in 2021, um, we didn't come out to this seashore, but we did drive around Pensacola and that was in April of 2021 and it was right after Hurricane Sally hit this area in September of 2020. It was a category two and it dumped a lot of rain here and there was a lot of damage. And a lot of the places were closed when we were here two years ago, but nice to see things opening up. But from what I understand, they're still reeling from Hurricane Sally three years ago. It's absolutely beautiful out here. One difference a day makes when we were in Treasure Island and the other parts of the southern part of the Gulf Coast. It was in the 80s and 90s and the temperatures have really dropped here in Pensacola. It's currently 66 degrees. So we had to put a jacket on. That's the first time we've had to do that in almost two weeks. There are two historic forts in this national park and this is Fort Pickens. The remnants of it. see a cannon way up there. The view of the cannon coming around on the other side. There's some people up there. We're still in our vehicle. A little bit more of Fort Pickens. We need to go back and get Henry's water bottle. Great place to fill it up. There's actually a ferry that comes here from the Gulf Shore National Park. And it's what they say is the best way to experience the peninsula Ferry is $30 for all day pass, and it will take you to downtown Pensacola, then over to Pensacola Beach, and then back here to Fort Pickens. Might be a good way to see the sights and see this area. We don't really have time today, but we're definitely coming back here. We love this area, and we will include that in our itinerary the next time we're here. Before we stop and take Henry on the beach, I filled up his water bottle over there and George pulled up here so we could do that. We are headed to the dog park that is just outside of this uh, seashore park. just saying gosh we, this would be such a fun place to go camping and we didn't think there was any camping in this park and then we kept seeing signs for camping so we're definitely going to come back here and possibly spend the night here in the van that would be really heavenly and all that white sand That's where you go to register to camp.
Shore Park. And way over there is Pensacola. But over there is the Gulf Coast. Love this little park area. They have a bunch of covered picnic tables and a little boardwalk down to the beach. Pretty cool. Stopping at the dog park. There's a lot of beaches in Florida that don't allow dogs, but Sir Henry is welcome here. Run, Henry, run. Sand is thick. There's your favorite, Henry. That didn't take you long. <laughs> He's trying to bite the water. <laughs> Yay, a wet dog in the van. We found a little sandbar out in the water. And Henry uh, is meeting some new friends out here. And he's loving it. I don't think he's going to want to go down into that water. It might be too deep for him. But he's trying. There's the golf from Pensacola, and it is still aqua blue. Looks like there's a fire over there. I wonder what's going on. Maybe when we go over the bridge, we'll see it. Oh, looks like a pretty big fire. Yeah. It might be like a grass fire. Two years ago it was raining and cloudy and today it's full of sunshine. Time for oysters. Well we just decided to come and have drinks here at Floribama. It's just so overcrowded they're having an Oktoberfest here and we want to go to uh, Jimmy Buffett's sister's restaurant and eat and that's only 20 miles away. Paul B. 
behind my Floribama Rama drink, which is really good by the way, is the marker. Left side is Florida, the right side is Alabama. Chillaxification, chillaxing with a chillaxification at Florabama. Are we in Florida or Alabama? We're on the Florida side. Where are you, George? Florida. Alabama. Florida. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Oh, no. That's the alligator, the gators. Sweet home Alabama. Listening to the Bratz Band, we decided to stay a little bit longer at Florabama and try some of the German cuisine during Oktoberfest at Florabama.
as we were leaving, we saw the members of the Bratz band and we took a photograph with them and they liked the fact that I knew some German phrases. We're in Gulf Shores, Alabama, and we were highly suggested. The destination is on your right. Well, there, our dining destination is on the right or the left? On the right is the pony. Okay. Pink pony. The Pink Pony Pub or the Hangout. Do you see it? I don't. But it's really pretty over there. There's the golf. I hear music. Wow, look, now that is some white sand over there. Well, the sun is going down, but there's a lot of people out there on the beach. And it's just Look at the sky. The Pink Pony Pub, established in 1956, and it's right on the beach. Hangout is across the parking lot, but I can hear the music from here, so I'm assuming that it's going to be super loud over there. We are in Gulf Shore, Alabama. It's Sunday night, and we are at the Pink Pony Pub, right here on the beach. We are headed to Lulu's. This is Jimmy Buffett's sister's place, and so we wanted to make sure that we came here and checked it out. So there was hardly any parking places in the parking spot, but the attendant said for us to come over here by the warehouse. And so this is where we're going to park and walk over to Lulu's. We enjoyed cocktails and a bowl of shrimp bisque soup while watching Monday Night Football, San Francisco 49ers against Dallas Cowboys. Then we found a public parking spot to spend the night in the van. It is Monday morning and we are driving to Fort Morgan Ferry and we're going to take the ferry. Where are we headed to? Dolphin Island. Dolphin Island and uh, George wants to see where Jimmy Buffett uh, grew up. All right, we just arrived at the Fort Morgan Ferry. We're hoping that we can get on. We're, we're kind of like right on the border. We may have one spot left for us, um, but we'll soon find out. We are on the Alabama side and we'll be taking the ferry, if we can get on it, to uh, Dolphin, Mississippi. And we are hoping to get to Pascagoula, Mississippi, which is where Jimmy Buffett was born. And there is a bridge there now named after him and we wanna try and find that. Okay, here is the scoop. Um, it looks like there's one more spot, but they have two big trucks that they need to get on. And that truck over there with a trailer. So they're going to see once they get everything on, if we can still fit on. If not, if not, we're out of luck because we really don't want to wait another hour and a half to take the ferry. So we're going to have to take the long way around and not do the pretty route over the water. Well darn, we were one car off, so we, we were, didn't make we were it. $12 worth of gas too late. Twelve dollars. We stopped to get gas because gas was two ninety eight here and we wanted to fill up even though we were on a full tank. Sure there's room. I don't know what the hell that car 
cargo ship has to do. I don't know, but they said that there's no room for us, so they closed the gate on us, and we're not on that ferry. Well, now we have to backtrack to the city of Gulf Coast, and we're noticing a lot of new construction here, and that was probably the results of Hurricane Sally that hit this area three years ago. Um, and now it's going to take us about two hours to get to where we want to be in Mississippi. And it was about the same timeline with going with the ferry, but we just thought it would have been a, a prettier way to travel rather than in the car. And uh, so now we're backtracking and we're back in the car. One of the things that we've noticed about southern Alabama is how clean and pretty everything is here. I was driving through northern Alabama about 10 years ago and my impression was kind of the opposite. So it's really nice to see that either everything is cleaned up or it's just really nice here in the southern part of the state. So this is a we are going over the bridge to Mobile, Alabama, and on our left we're, we saw the USS Alabama battleship, and uh, we might go back and take a closer look. Going through the tunnel to downtown Mobile, Alabama. There it is, Pascagoula, where Jimmy Buffett was born. So where do you want to head to? Downtown. We're going to go downtown, Mobile, and check it out. So Jimmy Buffett actually grew up here in Mobile. His dad was in the Navy and was stationed here. We stopped at the USS Alabama Memorial. We really don't have time to do the two and a half hour tour, but it's still really cool to see fairly up close. There were 2,500 servicemen that were on this. The USS Alabama is a retired battleship it's the fourth and final member of the South Dakota class of fast battleships built for the U.S. Navy in the 1940s. And during World War II, they did go into the bay in Japan. This 45,000 ton war machine during World War II sunk over 15 ships and it shot down 22 enemy aircrafts and logged in over 218,000 voyage miles. This memorial is a wonderful tribute to the USS Alabama here in Mobile, Well, I hope you Alabama. liked our recap of Pensacola and the Gulf Coast through Alabama. Please like and subscribe as we try to grow our channel. And please follow us around our seven-week road trip around the country. And remember, Iapoda, it's all part of the adventure.